hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how to create a club flyer like this in photoshop just like i have done with easy and few steps without having to waste much of your time let's just get started so the first thing you need to do is go over to file and um, click on new right so my width and height is set to 5 by 5 I'm using inches for this so I'll just call me here and um, give it a name like this so this should be club flyer and um, resolution 300 color mode RGB when you are done just click OK like this okay so um i'm just gonna set this to 100 percent or press ctrl 0 on your keyboard or command 0 if using a mark right so um now that we're here the first thing we need to do is go over to solid color right and um click ok like this because we're going to be using black for the background yeah So having done that, I'll go over to my resource file and I'm going to bring in the first um, element for this design which is this nice lovely um, crowd and a club in a location I really do not know. So my brush selected, I'm just going to make sure I remove the edges, I'm going to reduce the flow of the brush and also rub off the edges like this to create a form of like a vignette effect uh, this is like a half vignette effect not complete right so the bottom and the two edges right so go over to my resource file again and um, before I do that I'll just um, with my text tool I'm just going to type in a couple of text or a couple of things here set the color to white and I'm just gonna type so I'm gonna be speeding this up while I do this Okay, so I'm just going to increase the size like this, Ctrl T and um, move this around, make sure it's at the middle like this, you can use your um, 4 cardinal point arrow on your keyboard to move things around. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this element make sure it's placed directly on top of the text layer that means before you bring it in make sure you are on the text layer so selecting this one i'm going to right click and um, click create clipping mask right so this is what i want to achieve like this but then i'll go to filter go to blow and gaussian blow and apply a gaussian blow effect to it so you can use my settings for this also and when you are done just click ok like this all right so i'm going to do the same thing to i did for this with the duplicate copy but this time i'm going to change this blend mode to um i need something lighter so yeah screen so that's before and after right 
blueprint so I'm going to select the three of them um, no select this hold on I'm holding down shift to select more than one layer and click on that to group it so I'm just going to change this name to main text know that it is very very important for your layers to be organized in photoshop right keep your layers clean and organized okay so i'm just going to go in to add some other text to this design Okay, so now that I have done that, I would group these two layers, right? So what I'll just do, select these two layers. Let me take this up, bring this down a bit. So select these two layers and uh, click on Ctrl G or yeah, click on Ctrl G to group it. And I'm going to just going to name this BG background, right? So I'm going to select all these ones too click on that to group it and I'm going to uh, name this other text I'm going to move all of this down a bit and yes good I'm going to move this up a bit and I think I'm cool with this also move this one a little bit upwards and uh, make it slightly bigger good 
good, good, good. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the next element I use, which is this nice looking splash light. I really don't know what to call this, right? So I'll just say lighting effect. The mask selected, go over to the brush, right? And uh, my flow is set to and um so i'm just going to erase all of this part so it doesn't get in the way of my design sub tool like this is good change my blend mode to screen okay so that does it for me very easily Okay, so now there's something else I would like to do. So I let me reuse this on the image background. I still want to darken this a little bit from the edges. Oops, take it back. So I'm just going to go over to the edges and um, conceal those parts. I'm gonna group all of this and. Um, create a new layer above this I'm going to click on the foreground color I'm going to change it to this blue and uh, with my brush my flow set to 100 I'm just going to paint in some blues uh, not really painting some blues just once change the blend mode to screen let's see I'll leave it at screen create another layer click on that change the color again this time i'll be using this yellow color i'll apply it here change the blend mode also to screen yes you guessed right screen yeah good right click and select blending option and um, hold down your alt key while you drag this slider to the right and click ok so it blends well with the image at the background okay so immediately you do that what we're going to do next is make a snapshot of the whole design so how do you do that Control alt shift e makes a snapshot then right click and convert this to, to smart object then um, I'll go over to effects and add some noise to it to make it more grungy and um, perhaps more realistic in this context and um, what I'll do is go to camera raw and um, I'm just going to add a little bit of spice to it by increasing the highlights just copy my settings and um, uh, not take this too much texture check 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 good okay guys this is how I created this flyer in Photoshop last i check you've not subscribed to my channel please if you've not subscribed to my channel at this point in time kindly click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the post notification i'll see you in the next video